Oh, hey there. WD-40. Thank you, Generation Pixel. It has already paid itself off in the amount of recommendations that you made in the video to actually be able to clean stickers off and all that. I used to use Goof Off. I couldn't get any recently. Shortages, you know how that is. And this actually was on hand. I need to do all the hinges in the house, so after this, I'm probably going to go do that because they all squeak. But that was a good video. I actually really enjoyed it. Pre really appreciate the shout-out, too. I thought that was uh, kind of a nice welcome back, and you're such a class act anyways. You know, I expected that from you. Let's talk about boxes. The video is all about boxes. It's actually one, two, three, four, five boxes. Can count still. That's good. To open today, or kind of at least demonstrate what's in them, and this is a little bit of play off the previous video. Now, I don't think this is going to become a trend. You know, that's dangerous words because when you say that, it might become a trend. But I was actually so impressed with the way I could actually renew the yellowed kind of aged Super Famicom system and also, you know, clean the inside and get it working that I decided that playing on easy was not the level that I wanted to play on. So I actually, and this is uh, probably going to get a laugh out of a couple of people, I had a Super Nintendo of my own, but I decided to get another Super Nintendo. And this Super Nintendo is also nasty yellowed. Not as dingy as the Super Famicom. Maybe close. But this also does not work. So I decided, all right, I could clean the other one. I could get it looking great. The one thing that I could not get was in the other one, it wasn't broken. So this one, the video doesn't work. The sound doesn't work. It has a red light, so there's power coming in. And we're actually going to have wherever my multimeter is and all kinds of effort towards making that work. Now, it may not work. This could be one of those videos where we just say, <laughs> uh, well beyond my skill level, or it's so broken that, you know, you, you have to do so much to fix it that it's probably not worth it. I'm going to give it a try. You know, we're going to get it uh, looking new. And, you know, even just getting it looking new, though, I might be able to resell that somewhere and, you know, maybe even make at least my money back on having a nice shell of a case that actually works. Why am I rubbing my face? I just touched a nasty thing. I'm going to, have to scrub my face after this. Anyway, let's move on. So one of the things that uh, I found that I needed from my previous video was actually a screwdriver set. Now, the people that do these types of restorations on YouTube, one of them actually uses this, and he actually had a link in his YouTube channel, which is kind of James Bondish when you press it. Look at that. How cool is that? And I decided, you know what? He uses it, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get one too. Maybe, you know, gave a couple of bucks to his channel through the Amazon link that he had. I think that's pretty cool. It's a nice little compact set. All right, so this is where I deviate a little bit from this kind of, uh, you know, typical video of restoring and restoration. I actually said, you know, this mic here is really good. Um, I like my setup. I've got a Canon 6D over there. I've got studio lights that are actually beaming on me. And this, you know, jam and boggin that I typically wear. But I cannot take this show on the road. Now, one of the things with the pandemic, uh, we really haven't been taking anything on the road. You know, it's only just starting to kind of move a little bit. And for a global traveler like I used to be, it was really kind of an abrupt stop. So I said, you know what? When things open up, when I can move, when I can actually talk to other people, I need a device for the show that can actually make that more accessible. So I can take my camera. I can take my, you know, tripod that you can't see. It's right there. Promise. But what I am going to now do is use this. So this is the Rode Wireless Go 2. It has wireless capability, kind of two different points of input into the Canon, much like this microphone is. It's, uh, you know, basically equal quality. And it's a lavalier mic. So this is actually set up for two different lavaliers where you, you can wear them, you know, obviously separate people, not the same person. And you can actually have a communication that's really high quality. So you'll have the video that's already high quality. You'll also have the communication aspect through the mics. And I then put, you know, the next couple of uh, pennies into just getting kind of mid-range mics, a couple of Sonys, which uh, plug into that. And then you can actually wear those. So what I'd like to do is to be able to take the show a little bit more on the road, you know, when things open up, as I mentioned. And I'd also like the ability to have more than just me on the show. You know, so uh, there's going to be some ideas that you're going to see maybe in some other projects that I'm going to be working on using lavalier mics, uh, not affiliated with, you know, restoration of old yellowed video games, but the ability to have two people talking at the same time, high quality, 
and also doing some things, you know, that I find interesting. So hopefully you're going to enjoy that. I think so. I feel like the WD-40 should, uh, you know, say goodbye at the end. That was a good tip. I actually did not know you can clean labels off of that. So a little trip all around the world here with me talking. What I really wanted to leave with, uh, boxes are life, you know, box life. I don't know if that makes sense. Anyway, take care, everyone. Nice chatting. Uh, like to see in the comments. And if you like this video, obviously give it one of those thumbs up. Would appreciate it. Take care, everyone. See ya. Brew United. Oh, yeah.